<laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> Not long now. We have a new chapter and here is Dolores and well in the last part I did show already a bit uh, what they are saying that they need to do but I will show that again just to keep things clear. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Yeah, the only thing is I gave away the office key. <laughs> so, I don't know how the game is going to fix this, but I'm sure one of the agents has it. And they are gone, so yeah. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, because she just introduced herself and what she needs to do, I'm gonna continue with her because when I click on Ransom or her daddy, they will do the same. So just to keep things uh, clear, I don't know. Get inside the pillow factory, get key to factory gate, get lawyer to read uncle's will. Well, what I can do is go back to the house and see if the lawyer is able to read the will now. Because he didn't want to do that before or he was out of office I think. Uh, but also I forgot his number again So I need to look that up or did I Wait, it's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney Brant Balowick payment in full for will and reading So Brant Balowick, I think there's a phone book here Use door. Can you stop digging for once? Inside the house mainly And use phone book Brent Bailey, 6175. Use, well, 6175. Let's see if he's here now. Hi there, this is Brent Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling all cosplay legal issues. Stop by my booth. So do I need to go there? Wait, it did update. Fight lawyer in Timbalcon. Yeah, but I don't know where that is. Wait, is it somewhere here? Timbalcon. Where is that? Did he say that? <laughs> um, yeah. Let's let's call again because I don't remember what he said. Six one seven five. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling all cosplay legal issues. Stop by my booth. It just says ThimbleCon 87. I don't know how to get there. I don't. Is someone else supposed to know? Radio? At the radio station, maybe? Why would that be? Stores, please. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Bolts Special the inside. announcement. Pizza meeting tonight. Find Chet for the secret code. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's a mixing board, but I can't see the controls from here. Yeah, I don't know. I think I need to sabotage the radio station, but... Phonetron. Use Phonetron. There's nothing to use here, except maybe that tube. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. It's a TX1138 tube, all fresh and shiny. Is this what I needed to do? I don't know. Oh, she's still going. She just can't use the phone, which she doesn't seem to have, does she? Look at this. There's a thick layer of dust on it, and a message. No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue. CS. CS, don't know who that is. That would look great on my desk back at Mucus Flam. So pick it up. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? All right. Never mind. So yeah, they can't use the phone anymore. I have a bad one. Why don't Why don't I put on in the bad one? Can I do that? Use. Not much I can do with a burned out vacuum tube. All right. Never mind. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Really, are you? That's annoying. Gee, Dolores, I don't know where to find your lawyer. Main Street, Quick Bell, B Street, bus... Maybe the bus station? Do we need to take a bus? I don't know. Use ticket window? That doesn't seem to work. Oh, sorry. There's no path beyond this point. If by look at, you mean... Is it somewhere in the, in this town, but I don't know where? I don't know that. Bank is still closed. Would these guys know at the diner? Probably not. Welcome to the S&D diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? I don't know. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? What about the pie? I'll have the cherry pie. Sorry, some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. Oh. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? A hamburger? I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. So I need I'd to, like have to order hot some dog. food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. <coughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I did that already. TempleCon 87, wait, that's oh. what I need. <sighs> I feel better now. I'm glad I did that. Wait, go back. Look at this. TempleCon 87, it's being held at the hotel right now. Hotel. Great, thanks. That's what I needed. Do we need to ask the manager? Or talk to Dragon. Let's do that. Oh, it's in this room. Of course, that makes sense. Are you the lawyer? None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Oh, all right. I could do that. Um, because I... That's maybe why Shut I... Shut up in there! No sure one will ever carry a computer work. around in their pocket! Welcome to ThimbleCon 87. Later tonight, Ransom the Clown Lookalike Contest. Big prizes! Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Right, so I need to listen to the radio. Do we need to speak to the manager? Or not? Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? Maybe, yes. I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K-Scum-A-Boo contest winners. You should listen to K-Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? Alrighty. Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. <laughs> Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be Abu of service? But it was him, though. Bye. I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening. Alright, something updated. Uh, but what? Go talk to Luna. I did this. Win tickets. Alright, so I need to listen to the radio. And there's a radio at the 
diner and somewhere else I forgot. Also, where's that diner? <laughs> oh, here. Meanwhile, so I did something right. <laughs> here goes nothing. She is back, yes, she has the key. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Wait. <laughs> Not long now. Alrighty. Am I supposed to understand this? Because I don't. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Weird. What are they up to? Right, so now I'm her. Yes, she has the key. See? Look at my key card. It's the key card for my room. Look at notebook. Well, nothing changed really. Um, let me see. I think I've read all this. Yeah. Nothing really changed. I did everything. So what am I supposed to do? No. Use phone, maybe? You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We sent a package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Sayonara. All right, I guess we'll just do that. I don't know. Use door. Oh, and now I'm him. All right, use phone as well. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Right, I understood that uh, he also needs to go to the front desk. But yeah, nothing changed really. Did it. See, this updates, but it doesn't update at all. Hmm, this is perfect cover. This is all the same, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Alright, I don't know. I'll just go to the front desk with him as well. Here's your package, boo. Thank you. Are they gonna meet each other? Oh, this is just great. <laughs> is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. <laughs> it's then I one. guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touche. <laughs> what are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. Yeah, let's. You first. Okay. To buy a nice house, local corruption, spectre, secret UFO base. I think this is it, this one. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro <laughs> fetish. <laughs> My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. All right, we read about that in Chuck's journal. Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic in the factory machines. He was made the scapegoat in the fire blame. That's true. Clear his name, but it was Chuck's fault. Do you like adventure games? What about this? He was made the scapegoat and the fire blamed on him. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well, just here to see if there's an opening on the police. No, I'm on vacation, so I'm to know. I'm up for promotion. It's officializing a Japanese company is paying me for the secret. This is it. I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. 
Sounds like we both need to get into the pillow factory. Yeah, you do. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Sir, I have a package of boo for you. Uh-oh. Who's watching us? Is that the AI? Chuck's brain? Might be. So I think Chuck died, but his brain didn't. And he... Isn't that like in, in one of a movie or something where they upload their brain and they become the computer and they stay alive forever? <laughs> I don't know. Did I make that up? It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. It's my father's old pocket watch. But it's broken. It's my father's old pocket watch. But it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. I still have the fingerprint kit though. I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder. And it's missing the fingerprint tape. Right, but there is a lot of dust in the radio station, so I think we can get that somehow. And maybe we can get more tape at the post office. So now we have new stuff. Find evidence that Dad didn't start the factory fire. Fix Dad's watch. Wasn't that really a watchmaker? Get into the pillar factory, get key to factory gate, win tickets to Amazing Timbercon. Oh, they need to do that as well. Collect specks of dust. Hmm, interesting. So why don't we go find Willy? Would he be in jail still? I don't know, where is the jail? Is it here? New stores? Yes. I'm innocent! <laughs> if you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I that, heard you that. used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. Very true. Uh, well, why don't I say this? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? <laughs> Come back when you have some proper tools. And turn off that awful noise. Play me some theremin music. All right, use radio. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing and the radio's bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. <laughs> That's mean. Alright, so you need stuff to fix it. Um, yeah, but I don't know. What kind of stuff does a watchmaker need? How am I supposed to know? Um... Well, I can try and get some dust over here, but I don't know... Will he just take that or will he need something like a tool? We interrupt our hostile takeover. There's a thick layer of dust on it. And a message. No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue. See? Yes. There's no more fingerprint powder left. No, I know. I want you to take that dust. Right, but he won't. So... Why don't we go to the... Gee, I don't know where that is, though. The post office. Mm. Might be here. Interesting. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? Pick up. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? Oh, then I don't know. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. Now, this is bus station. I don't know where the post office is. Ricky, I don't think I need her. Whoops. Do I? A speck of dust. Let's pick that up. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Oh, well hi! Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Oh, I thought you feds had left town already. What with that murder being solved and everything? Uh, I don't know. Just dotting the I's and crossing the T's, ma'am. Well, good luck with that. What can I do for you, hun? Do you have jokes? <laughs> you must feel safer now the killer is behind bars. 
Well, heck no. I feel worse than ever. I just can't believe poor old Willie would do something like that. If it is true, I just don't know what to think about this town anymore. All right, bye. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger, hon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where everything is. Maybe... Look at them steps. Something in here? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. No, all right. Um... The pizza guy. Talk to Chet. What a free pizza coupon. Wink, wink. Yeah. Is the pizza free or the coupon free? Is Are the pizza free, free or the coupon free? Ah. Mm, I don't think I understand. <laughs> You could be arrested for dressing like that. Who are you? Are you the cops? Look to score some pizza. I'm looking to score some pizza. You're a fed. I can tell by the suit. Oh, I just knew it. I know my rights. I need to see a warrant. This is an illegal arrest. Alright, drop some stuff. Pick it up. Pick up. Okay. There will be pizza, best pizza in town. Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. Code. Hmm, free motion movie rental. Only pizza in town. Alright, but is it by the radio station or something? Looks like. Hmm, interesting. Uh, can I use this on this? Probably not. I can. Ah, a Betamax tape. Okay. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. Ha, I loved it. But Wait. not so sure about the ending. Someone has that, right? I think. Hmm, I think so. Uh, yeah, did I need Welcome to go to here? Quickie, pal. Can I help you find anything? Yeah, the post office, do you know where it is? Because <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to do here, so I can look at look at the camera. Oh, um, guess I'm on camera. Oh, all right. Mm, do I need to use toilet paper? I don't think so. No need. I'm very clean, thank you. All right. Still don't know where the post office is. Um. So maybe A Street? Have we been here? I don't know. I think we have. Or not. Oh, here it is. Use door. Can I use sticky tape? Uh, that tape is for official government business only. But I am. Back for some more government. postal wisdom. You seem to really love your job. Who wouldn't love being a mailman? You know firsthand how good it feels to serve the flag. I mean, it's not quite the same as being one of the chosen few carriers of the mail, but still. We should all strive to serve like you, sir. Keep up the good work. Come back soon. The post office is a fascinating... Uh, that tape is for official government business only. All right, so I can take that. I don't know why. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box and we promise not to peek inside your mail. That really won't do anything. No, I didn't think so. It's just, I don't know. Right, let's leave. Maybe she needs to ask the lady. Um. Yeah, let me think. Fix that swatch. Find evidence that didn't start the factory fire. Well, I could go to the factory with him. But I'm not sure what to do there. <laughs> because I've already been here. Foreclosed by order of safely first savings. And in small print, it's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. I'll have to get through the gate first. Alright. Well, you have a speck of dust. Interesting. Um, let's open up your box. It's a key. Hmm. Strange tool. It says office on it. No, it's not it's a I mean. very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. All right. Thanks. Deal the secret to the Blue Factory. I break into break into 
Oh, Kaki win tickets to Nerdy Thimblecon. So she needs to break in? Wait, can she just get rid of the padlock? But everybody has an objective get key to factory gate. Use this on padlock. It doesn't work on that. Use this. It doesn't seem to fit that. Right. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Can I give this to you? Oh, I love carrying stuff. <laughs> um, and maybe, I don't know, is that for the tape? It says it's Philip's dangerous device, no. and it has a red button and a speaker on it. Yeah, yeah, I know. But do you have something? A cartridge. Yeah, that won't work, I don't think it will. So I need to find a movie player or something. Why don't we go to one of the other characters? Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh. That the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. <laughs> it's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. <laughs> okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! Alright, so everybody needs to go to the pillow factory, basically. Break into, get key. So they do need to break in, but they also need to get the key. Win tickets also. Alright, so that's kind of the same. What do you have? Ransom the Clown comic... Poster, circus flyer. Yeah, that doesn't really help me though, does it? Because you can also get, go here, but yeah. <laughs> and now what? Whatever, Red. Break into. I don't know. How do you want to break in? What about Franklin? Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. Aww. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. She knows. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. All right, magical book or spell, he says. And we're in a game, so... Uh, this is kind of the same, though. This hasn't updated at all. But can you go into the room? You can. Help. Talk to. I'm a ghost. Mm, let's look around. Spaceship, sexy Riker. Pew, pew, pew. Virgil. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. <laughs> I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Can I have some cake? Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. All right. Take pity on a poor soul. How about taking pity on a, you know, poor soul? I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay, sorry. Pathetic Thanks reason. Anyway. <laughs> Do you know how oh, we can oops, get out of the hotel? One. I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. 
If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Just want to say hi. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. All right, bye. See you soon, Virgil. This is the cake. Look at. The glow makes the cake look delicious. Look at. What's this? It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Look at computer. Cutting edge computer technology. Beow. Books on UFO, animation, and puppies. But who's. Are you the lawyer? No. Cory, Cory. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom look alike contest. This updated though. Find secret spell book, get into secret penthouse room. Hmm, yeah. Can I do something over here, Mom? Oh. <laughs> Mom bad. always said I wouldn't amount to much. <laughs> uh, can I zap? You can turn them on and off, cool. Can I zap the microphone? No, that doesn't work. Ooh. Hmm, yeah, not much. Pick up. Can I pick that up? Um, I just I deleted it or something. <laughs> Great, it's gone. No, really. Oh, that's annoying. Corey, Corey. Um, I want to look at this, but I guess that's nothing. Yeah, I can't really do anything. Pew, I think. Pew, pew. Well, I can scare people, but yeah, I don't want to do it's that right now. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Friend, this is the Ooh. lawyer. Legal advice. Work is not perfect. Pew, pew, pew. I look at these comics and books. They're comics, D&D manuals, and a text adventure hint guide. Text adventure hint guide? A dime a dozen. Looks like Marvin's cousin Gary. Hmm. A new Coke vending machine. It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. There's no water to splash there. Right, I don't know. Uh, maybe scared a dragon. The elevator that isn't work. on this floor. Yeah, I know. Boo! Oh. Ah, shut up in there! Ninjas fight alone. Pirates will always beat them. All right, I don't know. <laughs> Get into penthouse, yeah, but she's still here, Can't isn't she? Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay, I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers, but I'll give it a try. Um, what about this? How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. Oh, she needs that cake. happens to me too. There should be a word for that. Hangry. Uh, what about this? What can ghosts, you know, eat? As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in the stupid elevator, and I can't get any. Mmm. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. True. I, I need to give you cake, I think. So, Clara, what's life like as, well, you know, a, a ghost? For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. <laughs> All right, bye. What do you want to eat? What do you, you know, want to eat? I'm rather fond of ice cream cake, but Xavier says I can't leave the elevator. All right, bye. Bye, Clara. Can I... Um, is that a good enough reason to get cake from the other guy? I don't know if he will, though. Let's ask. Can I have some, you know, cake? 
This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. Do I have a good reason? Clara. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For her, I'd do anything. <laughs> Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. All right. Bye. See you soon, Virgil. Pew, pew, pew. So, need to give that to her and then she'll what? Leave? Let me get into the penthouse, I hope. Is that the way to become a friend? To give a cake? Um... Oh, talk. it's just the flap doodle again. Flap doodle. Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Oh. Bye. Bye, Clara. Do I need to chill the cake? Voila. Now it's ice cream ghost cake. Right. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Hey, do you want some cake or not? Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. I Actually, would say... it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Do you know how you died? Who put saving charge? What about this? Well, can I? Well, you know. Please go to the penthouse now. Oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Yeah, you should. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Oh, cool. When you're ready. So... I don't know. Am I ready? <laughs> Should, yes, I'll save first. I don't know. What will happen? Well, I'm dead already, so I can't die again. But I could maybe go game over? I don't know. Here we I are. can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. <laughs> I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Oh, that was easy enough. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with those specks of dust. I can chill them, but I think they'll just go away. See, they disappear. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. All right, let's look around then. I can speak to him. He has a glowing crystal. Float the window. Hey, new ghost! I told you not to bug me. What about this? Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Oh, all right. How would I use it? Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. <laughs> yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room, and you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Oh, that's easy. Uh, do I need to really stand up like this? Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. Look at Crystal. Stay away from my Crystal. There's no water to splash there. The crystal is impervious to your pathetic attempt at chilling. Stay away from my crystal. Great view. I can see everything from here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I think I need to stand up to him, but maybe I need to do something else first. Because I got into the penthouse and did that. Maybe I need to find a secret spell book. 
But I don't know how. And I need to go to Chuck's tomb. But also, I don't know how to do that. There's no water to splash there. Yeah, I want you to pick that up, but you won't. Um, chill. All right, let's just. Company, ask her. thank goodness you're back. So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. There is. Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day and the next thing I knew I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fustalugs and a clasomaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not really the type. You know, we... How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Xavier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel and there was something else too, I think. He took us to Chuck's funeral the other day. Chuck is my brother. Now you're just name dropping. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye, and good luck for the closed elevator door. Uh, yeah. How do I open it? Zap it. So I need a book from outside the hotel. He says so. Someone needs to get that for me. But yeah, where? I don't know. What about at the mansion? The book's there. I don't know where else they could be. I don't know what to look for exactly. A spell book. Or maybe at the witch's house. Could be. Use door. Use this. I don't need to find any books now. Hmm. So she won't do that. Family's still here. And where is the witch again? I don't know. This is the bus station. Speck of dust. Pick it up. I wonder what I need those for. Yeah, it's here. How well, can I look at this? Maybe Willie left something behind? Nothing in there but charred trash. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Alright, so we did not, so at least I checked that. Use door. The monkey paw knows. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, Dolores. The bubble fish has a banana. <laughs> I guess you heard about my uncle? Ah, oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are <laughs> sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's like way harsh, Marina. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. Uh, I don't know, bye. Goodbye, Madam Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. Yeah, this won't work, I think. Will it? Because there's a lot of... And she needs to know what book to find. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna take a break. Because I don't know what to do right now. Well, I know what to do, but not how. Uh, so yeah, Dolores needs to basically... They all need to get inside the pillow factory. And some of them need to break in. <laughs> and they all need to get the key. A key, I don't know where that is. Um... Her daddy can't leave the hotel, needs a book from outside the hotel so he can leave the hotel. 
And we all need to go to Timbalcon and win tickets. That's basically what's up. So yeah. Uh, thanks so much for watching again. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy. Bye -de bye. Thank you for watching. Curious what happens next? Subscribe to my page so you don't miss anything.